Hi, I wanted to show all of you what a stool sample is like. Well, you probably think I'm on a stool, this is actually a chair. A stool sample is not a chair, but it is a, a sample of poop. And we usually ask you to bring in a, a little, some poop in a, some kind of a container like this, so we can take the poop and put it on a slide and look for bugs. That's what I'm going to do. So we, we push that down into the poop, and now we have some poop on the plastic. So we're going to take a little piece of it, like so, and we're going to put it on a slide, like so. We don't need very much because there's all kinds of bacteria and protozoa and stuff in just a little tiny piece. So we're just going to put a little bit piece of poop on the slide, like so. Well, that's way too much. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to get some of that off of it. So we only need like that amount, just that amount, that, just that much. And then I'm going to take a little dropper saline. And I'm going to salt water, put a couple drops on in order to dilute out the poop. So spread it out so we can see inside it. So I'm going to use the other side to stir the poop into the saline. So we get a nice dissolved bunch of poop in the saline so we can look in there and see what kind of bugs we have. So now we have it all dissolved in there. Isn't this a great job? <laughs> So now we're going to take the poop and we're going to the poop slide and we're going to put a poop cover slip on it. This cover slip will even out the poop on the slide to the same depth. It will make the, the sample squish down so that all the organisms are kind of on the same depth so we can see them easier. And also, we don't stick our lens of our microscope into the poop. So we'll get this out of the way because sure enough, I'll be knocking this over next <laughs> and putting in my hand in it. So we'll put that safely away in case we need another sample. We'll take the poop stick and put it in the, in the, in the uh, garbage. Now here's our, here's our slide. That's our poop slide. We're going to put that on the microscope, and I'll show you what it looks like under the microscope. A slide of fecal material has a lot of fiber in it and a lot of organisms and bacteria that are normal. The parasites are more egg-shaped or oval-shaped. They have an embryo and a wall, like this roundworm egg. And also, you can have uh, coccidia, which have the same kind of structure, but they're more oval. Giardia cysts are much smaller and have a little bit of internal structure, but they hatch out to giardia, which causes a lot of problems in people and animals. So against the background fiber and material, you can sometimes see uh, cells that are a little more uh, oval or round or organized, and if there's a lot of them in there, then that means there's an active infection. They can be missed, and that's when we use our concentrating techniques or our assay techniques to find out if there's any uh, giardia in the, 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 the sample. Thanks for listening to my poop experience. Help me get the word out that many dogs can't take some of the ingredients in commercial foods. Go to my website dogdishdiet.com and for only twenty dollars you can probably save hundreds of dollars that you would spend at the vets if your dog has any of the normal problems of diarrhea, vomiting, itchy skin, itchy ears, and other obesity and other problems dogs have.